So, Chris, what's your response to Nottingham Forest fans mocking that you haven't scored in this fixture? Hugh. You've got no fans. you got no fans. If you want some, I'll give it you. We're going to be a fucking... Want to do it, me? Bro, you fucking... If you want some, I'll give it you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Four Manager 2016. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit croaky today, thanks to this man. I promise it, I'll say! Sorry, Forest fans. Love you, really. So just a bog standard episode today, um, other than me sounding really, really weird. Um, again, voice gone, East Midlands derby, why did I record after it? Because we have an East Midlands derby today. What a first home game of the season. Derby County versus Nottingham Forest. And if it, I just, I'm just good at timing. I really am. I mean, same as a result in real life would would do me fine. We'll bring back Marcus Olsen from wherever the hell he is. We'll bring him from Blackburn. He's still at Blackburn. I mean, he's wanted, in fact, you know. So, by West Brom, it probably means we could get him if we wanted to. Um, but, no, my sweet prince, you shall not be joining the club. We have Andy Robertson now. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. That was weird. But since I last saw you, we played Everton and we drew 2-2. Dwight Hopman getting himself a double and kicking off the season very, very nicely. But we did concede two goals, Andrea Polly and Ross Barkley. Away from home, we, we went attacking, we went 4-1, 2-2-1. Um, and didn't quite pay off. Probably should have gone 5 3 2. That is our away formation. At home, though, uh, we will be playing the 4 1 2 2 1 against Nottingham Forest, who we have today, who are seventh in the league. I woke up this morning actually sounding like Sean Dyke, and I was like, Ingsley, good to be reunited with you, son. And then, um, yeah, it was really weird. I mean, I, I, Andre Gray was there, Sam Vokes as well. I mean, why were they in my bedroom? I don't, I don't quite know. It's a very weird thing. I might call the police. Something that in our first game impressed me, though, was uh, Johan Robert. He was a person that impressed me, not a thing. Um, he, he, he may be ginger, um, but he is a person. He played a nine rating, got himself the man of the match, got himself an assist for one of the goals, and generally just had a pretty good game. Um, but yeah, just generally did. Uh, a very, very good job in the centre of midfield. So hopefully he can uh, continue that. I mean, there's not really much to talk about, um, to be honest. We've brought nobody in since I last saw you. Um, so we're still looking to do that. One development, though, is with Emmanuel Mamana, one of our only two recognised centre-backs at the club. Um, he's been attracting interest from Arsenal and there was also Barcelona in there. I want £45 million. That is his release clause and I will accept nothing less. Um, however, Barca are offering like 38 almost 40 million which is a lot of money but i really don't want to let him go due to the fact we just don't have any center backs um luckily i was a crisis negotiator in a previous life and he has uh agreed to just get on with his football which is i i, I do respect if we can bring in some replacements and a 45 million bid comes in i'm afraid he'll be gone but uh hopefully we can keep him and because he's a rock at the back really and is really going to be a, a, an integral part of not only our premier league campaign but our champions league one also, um, yeah, we're gonna go into the game. Let's do this. Yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah Okay, fucking idiot. I remember last time we did uh, an East Midlands die I remember Miles's face came on the screen because we conceded a fucking bullshit glitch goal Did you just did, did you just fucking see that? Are you fucking kidding me? A, a, a throw in Scott Carson You are f I am not happy with you, um, which uh, didn't make me particularly happy, if I remember rightly. Um, hopefully none of that today. Hopefully just a full-on normal game. No Miles shenanigans. I'm watching you, Miles, who's probably not watching, but I'm watching. I sound like a stalker. Again, the police will need to be, to be rang. Mm. It is a massive game. We are favoured for it. Uh, four, uh, four to five. Our key plan are going to be Memphis to pie for them. Yusuf Poulsen, who plays out on the wing. Very, very quick indeed. Britta Sombalonga, though, is also going to be dangerous if he's fit. And I believe he is. Um, but what are they what, what, what are they saying? Squawker are saying that we have enough, enough about us to beat Forest, But they uh, are missing Oliver Burke and Jack Hobbs, too. Uh, key players for them. But the teams line up like this then. They line up with a bench of no goalkeeper. Interesting. Cameron Jerome, uh, Cedric Avina, Chris Cohen, Curtis Main, Nathan Byrne, Matt Loughton and Jason Punchin. And a starting lineup then. 4-4-2 of Alex Smithies in goal. A back four of Ver Ver Verenia. Verenia? 
probably. Uh, Thompson, Dan Byrne, Danny Penilos, um, Yusuf Paulson, Alex Tete, Henry Lansbury and Anthony Pilkington are the midfield four. And up front is Britt Asombalonga and Thomas De Sutter. Alex Tete is a man in there who, if we can get sent off, because I had him in the World Network game. If you remember that, shout out to you. Long time. Um, he got sent off basically every game. So if we can make him suspended, that would be great. We, though, at line up with a bench of Valentin Koja, Karu, James, Bree, Lewis, Cook, George, Fawn, Yannick, Gerhardt, Pione, Sisto, and Chris Martin. And a starting lineup then four at the back. Cyrus, Christie, Reese, Oxford, Andrew, Amana, Andy Robertson with Jack Butland in the sticks. And a midfield three, the trifecta of Rob Hernandez, Johanna Robert, and Will Hughes. And a front three of Bruma, Memphis Depay, and Dwight Hotman, the two Dutchmen. Not the Dutch dynasty, though. Uh, Richard Zivkovic is injured. Danny Ings also not fit enough to play. That, though, is a very, very creative attacking team. And it should be enough. But they're going to play 4-4-2. They're going to be very rigid, tough to beat. But I think we can do it. Been a decent team talk. Let's go out there and win this fucker. I want to win. If we win it in real life, let's win it on Football Manager. Would help if I click start game. Here we go then. We get ourselves kicked. Get ourselves kicked off. Mm, I've always said get our kit off as well. I mean, nudist football. Not something I'm interested in learning about. Here we go. From a corner, Will Hughes, Reese Oxford, Bruma, bouncing around. Robert, Robert, Robert. Oh, the composure. Hello. Exciting football. Hashtag, hashtag the Derby way. Robert, with still highlights on. Dan Byrne, though. Big lanky legs getting in the way. But Will Hughes has found a way. He's found Dwight Hopman, who's found Alex Smithies, who is tough to beat. But it's still a bloody highlight. This is madness. And they, they, we, we have pressed them in their half. This high pressing... Didn't come to anything that time, though. Uh, we are going to tackle Alex Smithies quite hard, actually. We are going to close down Britta Sombalonga, Anthony Pilkerson, uh, and Yusuf Paulson. We, we, we are not tight marking them, though, because that would be a, uh, a recipe for disaster. Um, but you, sir, Asombalonga, scare me and shall be tackled hard, as well as Alex Smithies, because we want to injure their goalkeeper, because I'd have to stick someone like Dan Burn in goal, who's massive. That could be a really good idea. I mean, I mean, thinking about it, you know... This is the second live com of the season. First one didn't go particularly well. This one, if we concede now, will also not be going very well. But Dwight Hopman's got the pace. He's got the power. Oh, he's he's got it. He, oh, he floats like a butterfly. He gets fouled. Oh, he's fouled someone else. Ah. Hmm. I was going to give you a bit of Muhammad Ali. Floats like a butterfly. Stinks like he's going to be sent off. Dwight Hopman's been sent off. He's but. Oh. Why did he get... Wait, what's happened? Why has he been sent off? Wait, 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 wait. Why did Hopman get a yellow card? For a trip. He tripped he tripped their right back. Why is he did he dive? He didn't dive. Dwight, you wouldn't dive. Right, we're gonna lose the defensive midfielder. This is a risky maneuver. Rob Hernandez, will you be sacrificed? Are you having an oak you're having a six point nine? But everyone else in our team. I feel like we I feel like Rob Hernandez gives us a sort of stability in the team. So we can't sacrifice him. Yaron Robert, you played wonderful last time out, but you are sacrificed today. And Chris Martin, never scored in an East Midlands derby. Don't know if that's true on this game. Let's find out, actually. In real life, never scored in one. Has he done on Football Manager? Did Chris Martin score against Nottingham Forest? You bet your ass he didn't, because we lost 1-0. But in the other game, which I don't think I live commed, he, he didn't. Andy Vyman got the two. Still yet to score in East Midlands derby. Come on, Chrissy. Old habits. Die hard. Die hard's a good film. Chris Martin wasn't in it. But if he was, it'd be a better film. So down to 10 men. Why did Dwight Hopman get sent off? Why? Why, why, why? Second yellow card. He was diving. Diving. Dwight Hopman does not dive. Ref Who's the referee? Who is the referee? Graham Scott. Fucking lunatic. Talk about small team bias, am I right? Boop, 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 boop. Shots fired. We are unlucky, but Dwight, man... D Dwight man, no, Hopman. We are one, we are a man down, but we are still the better team and we are still creating something now. It's going to be interesting to see how they go about the game now, um, given the fact that they will have, will be inspired at halftime if the, their manager does a good team tour. I didn't actually check who the manager was. Um, but in terms of the first half, pure domination, just lacking the finish. So it's just going to, I think time will tell in this game. I think everything so far is going well, except for we're nil nil and down to 10 men. Please don't do this for manager. Please don't fuck us over. Please, pretty please, sugar on top, and a cherry. What other things? Sprinkles, oh, everyone likes sprinkles. That, would that, would that, would that tempt you to give us a goal? 
No? Mm, would me. I, 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 I'd, I'd, I'd throw the game for a cupcake, apparently. Uh, yeah, this is not going well. Um, let's make a tweak. Let's change these. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We have to go. Wing backs attack. We're gonna put Memphis Depay inside, uh, forward. We're gonna put Bruma on a winger attack as well. We are pushing high up the pitch. Um, I would allow, I'm gonna put Hughes back on attack as well. We are going for the game. We have to go for the jugular. And I feel this is how we will attack the jugular. Yeah, I've never murdered someone. Can you tell? Um, don't plan to for any policeman watching. Here we go. Rob Hernandez. Will our attacking changes work? Now, Robertson going forward as he loves it. What a ball! Hits you the post. Martin! Okay. And I knew allowing our fullbacks to come forward would have an impact on the game. Andy Robertson loves an assist. And I don't know if he's going to get that one, but I don't care because Chrissy Martin has got himself a goal. Here we go. Robertson with the ball. Uh, it puts it in. It bounces. It was actually put onto the post by, I think, Pinelos or maybe even Bruma. But Chris Martin just strokes it in. Little, you know, flick. Just a simple finish. Bottom corner on the rebound. And I'll take it. 1-0. We are going to drop our wing backs back a little bit. I want to be a little bit more conservative about this now. Maybe drop you to an inside forward, uh, to a winger support, sorry. And we'll make a change in the midfield. We'll e we might even drop you deeper and bring on George Fawn just to hold. Um, or maybe even take off Will Hughes. No, he's the captain. You don't take off your captain in a game like this. You need a proper leader and a character out there. And Will Hughes is a character. But honestly, though, this has been a very, very good performance. We have really limited them well, to, to nothing. They've not had a shot. In the entire game. It's 1-0. It has been total domination. With 10 men as well. I mean Dwight Hopman. Booked for diving. But uh, well, second yellow card for diving. Um, but we've still gone out there. Attacked. And looks like we're going to take the spoils. The Brian Clough trophy. And a free point in the league. And a good way to kickstart your home form this season. A 1-0 victory. Not been the most exciting game on the planet. Some interesting uh, stuff happening though. Dwight Hopman uh, getting sent off for diving was uh, something I don't think I've had before. Two yellow cards in the space of six minutes as you can see. But a win nonetheless. And our, our tactical genius from myself. I'll pat on the back for me. Good win. Good, good win. Good solid win. Beat Forest 1-0. Similar to real life. Marky Olsen, shout out to you. You're not watching, but if you were, that would be insane. Um, and yeah, uh, a good 1-0 victory. I am very, very pleased, and we've got our first win of the season. We shall be doing the Champions League next. Um, we might include the draw for when we do it. We might not, and I might just come and see you for the game itself. We've had three games in between then, including Leicester, Swansea, and Hull. And, uh, yeah, it's been very, very exciting. Who's looking forward to the Champions League? I certainly am. So, thank you very much for watching, though, lads. Very much appreciated. It's not been the best episode. I've got a bit of a, a, a croaky throat. Um, and, again, sorry about that. Audio has not been as great. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed. If so, make sure you leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Much love. Bye-bye.